I watched The Millionaire Matchmaker on Alpha Females. I see myself in it. Alpha females are amazing because they are confident, interesting, responsible, charming and know what they want. Who would match an alpha female, a beta male or an alpha man? Our world is changing. If I was a man, I'd love to have a woman who is capable at home and outside of the home. I don't want a housewife, an attachment, that's boring. But it does take a very confident man to be with an alpha female. Thoughts HTTP colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark vequels d8 s y n q z i k a the millionaire matchmaker season 6 episode 5 alpha females subscribe our channel for more videos the millionaire matchmaker the millionaire matchmaker the millionaire matchmaker full episodes the millionaire m1 share like like share leading in three others like this david durham when i last checked out the situation with miss millionaire matchmaker she had never been married had no children and had a patchy track record with men, at best, and she was 52 years old so why would an intelligent woman take advice from her or see her as a role model? There are lots of alpha females who have great relationships with strong men, e.g. Margaret Thatcher and my grandmother, so alpha. Females have been around a long time and have managed to be successful, have careers, have families, and sustain LT relationships but it is not as simple as alpha female plus alpha male equals successful relationship. A lot of successful people are narcissists which pretty much makes a relationship impossible. Look beyond the Ferrari if you really want to find a really good guy. Yesterday at 1.18 a.m., like, Fornic Francis agreed. Generally relationships with an alpha female won't fail due to the fact the man is not confident enough but because the alpha female is too selfish and self-absorbed and with an unrealistic sense of herself and her entitlement and just doesn't make her partner feel good ladies. If you want find a good partner then learn to be nice and a lot less materialistic in your choices. Yesterday at 2.29 a.m. edited like to legion David Durham Nick Francis thank you for your input. Alpha females don't equal too selfish. Patty Stanger has a steady boyfriend now and Katie Couric just got married this weekend. But it does take both of them a long time to find love not easy as they are accomplished and it does take certain type of guys to match them. It's not easy to balance work and life for career men and women, but with a confident and kind partner, it's all possible. Yesterday at 7.03 a.m., like, to Nick Francis not all but many are, some learn some don't. I think the point both David and I are making is that these women are a lot less desirable to men than they believe and it is nothing to do with men feeling intimidated. Divorce rates are higher for career girls than any other group. Yesterday at 7.56 a.m., like, one Nick Francis and there are good reasons for this that are nothing to do with the girls' high standards. I suggest you interview noted author Blake Lavick whose book has already been mentioned in comments on your post yesterday at 8 a.m., like, to Nick Francis his book is invaluable for every lady trying to land a big tuna. I dare say even you might learn a trick or two yesterday at 8.03 a.m. Like, one choo chin chung if every man thinks the same, then only a few women in this world would be married yesterday at 9.23 a.m. Like, one David Durham G. Jing. I did not say that alpha females are by definition selfish and my comment about narcissists was about the men that alpha females seem to desire, for example successful, accomplished, not easily intimidated you appear to believe that alpha females have problems finding men because most men are intimidated by them in my experience, men like women who are accomplished, but they do not settle down with women who are shopping for a man as they do for shoes.